Big Little is a concept that ARM introduced in 2011, which combines two processors, uh, one optimized for high performance, the other optimized for energy efficiency. And these two processors are ISA identical, which allows the very fast switching of tasks between the perform high performance processor and the energy efficient processor. Well, in the, uh, in the mobile world, we're facing two uh, conflicting uh, sets of requirements. One is for increased performance, the other is for increased energy efficiency. And if you try and design a processor for both of those, uh, you get a, a less than optimal solution for either of those two requirements. So by having a processor which is optimized for, pe for performance and one which is optimized for energy efficiency, allows us to switch between the two processors as the workload on the, on the mobile device dictates. So we can do a very fast context switch from high performance when we're running a graphics application, for example, to energy efficiency where we're just doing some housekeeping on the phone. Well, there's probably three reasons. One is that uh, the, the software and the hardware are very interdependent, and so we'd like to design the software before the hardware, while the hardware is still being designed, so that we can make changes in the software or the hardware to make, to make sure we have the, the optimal solution. The second is that we'd like to try out a lot of different scenarios before we finalize the, the design. And so by having a, an early, um, early platform for software development, we can try out many different scenarios, many different uh, combinations of parameters in the hardware and algorithms for the software to make sure we've got the, the optimal sw solution for this task migration. And the third reason we'd like to do this is, of course, that um, uh, often we're, we're designing uh, well in advance of physical hardware being available. And it, in order to take software development off the critical path, we can develop in a virtual environment, which allows us to get an early start on software and, uh, take, as I say, take that off the critical path and ensure that we get the device with working software to market in a timely manner. So we just recently announced our new software development product for Big Little called VDK Family for ARM Cortex Processors. It actually contains all the different pieces that a software developer needs for early software development. First of all, we don't replace the software debugger, we interface with the software debugger and we augment it by providing more control and visibility for multi-core designs. We also do that by providing a reference virtual prototype for both quad-core A15 and then for multiple flavors of big little designs with quad-core A15, quad-core A7 and single-core versions of both. And last but not least, we also make sure that the software runs on it. So we have Linux boot, Android boot and the task switching software for uh, big little running on the virtual prototype. So the VDKs really help software developers start software development up to 12 months before any hardware is available. So by having a virtual version, you don't have to wait until the hardware is available. The hardware and the software can develop in parallel, which is really important in the time to market. It also helps in providing more control and visibility for the specific designs. In particular, the VDK for Big Little helps software developers to optimize the multi-core task migration software and really look into the trade-off between energy efficiency running software on the Cortex-A7 and optimization for performance running software on the Cortex-A15. So the VDKs are really targeted towards hardware-dependent software. So it's all the activities which are happening early on in the design tasks. So it's all about uh, OS bring up um, the t device driver development where the impact on the overall time to market is really big. It's all the tasks that have to happen early on and that can benefit from having a virtual prototype available 12 months before the hardware is there.